Alright, let's go, Tito. Hey! hey. <laughs> Woo! Reporting live from the Saga House. It's live from last week, episode 103. Let's go! Welcome, my fellow tree walkers, to another episode of Laugh from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So to be honest, guys, today I'm not feeling 100%. With last night during my night shift, I was feeling a little bit of chills and just overall body fatigue. And I can tell that I'm a little bit sick because I'm feeling a little bit unwell and my resting heart rate is over 100 beats per minute. So I'm hoping that when I go in for my second of my two night shifts tonight, it won't be too stressful or busy so that tomorrow on my day off, I can rest up and recover. But anyhow, this morning after my night shift, going back to this scene from a previous Live From Last Week episode, I looked at the last place where I left it and saw in the wrapper that most of the chocolate had gone missing. But after picking up the wife downtown, I'm thinking I know who the suspect of the missing pieces of the chocolate bar is. Without shame, guess who finished up my post-night shift stressful chocolate stash? Go ahead, eat my last chocolate. My stress chocolate that I put away for post-night shift stresses. And on the morning commute, I was able to witness the scooter rider with a pretty cool covering over the scooter, which made it look like a vehicle. But moving on, before I go on from a night shift tonight, we have a quick birthday greeting to a university friend of mine who I know through my friend, Mike Martell. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Zach. Happy birthday, Zach. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So guys, I don't know if you can tell, but after getting a pretty decent post-night shift nap earlier today, and feeling pretty good coming off my seventh night shift in the past 10 days. And also having the wife and I bring home some midnight night shift treats from work. I can honestly say that I'm feeling so much better than I did just 24 hours ago. And now tonight, chilling on my only off day in the past three nights. Recalling these scenes from a previous Live From Last Week episode. To learn more about relationships, communication, and making deeper connections, the wife and I got to start watching season three of the Netflix special, Too Hot to Handle. The wife and I had decided to spend all night tonight binge watching one of our favorite Netflix series, the one, the only, season four of Too Hot to Handle. And after spending the past several hours binge watching the first six episodes of this season, this is what appeared on the TV screen while watching Netflix. What? Okay. What? You have to wait? Four, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, there. Fourteen. What? So it's not December, that yet. Episode six is... Episode six, December 14. Seven, December 14. Eight, December 14. Nine, December 14. Ten, December 14. When is December 14? When is December 14? <laughs> Which just means we have to painstakingly wait until next week to finish up watching this very addictive series. What the heck? What a cliffhanger. I gotta wait for a week from now to watch the remainder of this series? Yo, honestly, this season has been the best season of Too Hot for Handle that I can remember. But I have to wait at least one more week. Oh man, so good. After getting less than five hours of sleep last night and waking up at 7 a.m., I couldn't get back to sleep, so I decided to be productive. I started by doing some scrub laundry, throwing out and saying goodbye to the wife's old shoes that I got her years ago, took out all the recycling and garbage that's left here in the condo, and going back downstairs to the jam-packed locker, right to the very back of it. Before resetting my locker to how it was, I found my beloved Christmas tree back there, brought it back up to the condo unit, taking my tree out out of the prepackaged packaging, and set it up to get the condo in the festive holiday spirit. And while setting it up, I saw this very suspicious pigeon trying to look at us from outside our window. 
Anyways, the wife and I started watching this new Netflix series special for the rest of the day called Harry and Meghan before I go in tonight for an overtime shift, my eighth shift in a span of 11 nights. But before I commute to work, I have a quick birthday greeting to a former Wysig friend of mine. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Samantha. Happy birthday, Sam. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So last night before my shift, I dropped off the wife to attend her work party wearing this spectacular outfit for the evening. Then coming off my overtime shift this morning, remembering this scene from when the mini's dashboard said that it had no more gas left in the tank. This is what happens when the mini's gas gauge hits the number zero. Well, I relived that exact same moment while coming off the DVP earlier, literally watching all the values of my gas tank go down one by one by one, actively and eventually running out of gas. But luckily for me, I was able to pull into a local gas station where I saw the lowest gas prices that I've seen in months when I decided to look across the street and saw that there were even more cheaper gas prices over there. So I headed over to that Esso gas station and since the prices were so low, I decided to fill up on the most expensive gas they had there. The good old 93 Octane Supreme Plus gas. Then after filling up on only 66 bucks on this luxurious gas, I found out the real reason why the gas was so cheap. This morning, Esso had a 10 cents off per liter gas promotion and I, on a totally empty tank of gas, was just in the right place at the right time. But moving on, after catching a couple of World Cup games on my laptop earlier this week, when I got home, guess who, instead of taking their post-night shift nap, decided to stay up and catch some World Cup quarterfinal game action. Watching Brazil take on Croatia in a very exciting match. Oh! Penalty, ah, penalty kicks. And after Croatia came up with the upset over Brazil and advanced on penalty kicks, still off no sleep, this is what I was thinking. I already stayed up for one, might as well stay up for the other. Wow, he is truly a magician. Look at this, look at this, faking, dribbles the ball. Cuts it right through with a through ball. His teammate finishes it. Boom! What a goal. Ooh, potential free kick by Messi! Oh! That close. Little Messi. Oh my gosh, a last minute foul outside of the penalty box. Potential free kick for the Dutch. Could this be a last minute goal? Guys, I wouldn't be surprised, but this World Cup has been one of the best. in the 100th minute, the 10th minute of stoppage time to tie the game. Yet another match going to penalties. Sudden death. Oh! What a save. Oh. So calm, so calm. And after watching my boy Messi and his Argentinian team win the game and advance also on penalty kicks. Oh, that's going on! Argentina's going on! I'm thinking that tonight I'm just gonna take it easy and try to catch up on all the lost sleep that I missed while watching all those World Cup games earlier. After signing off with you guys yesterday, 
And looking back to this scene from a previous Live From Last Week episode, one great surprise that I had that brightened up my day, one of our friends, Giselle, surprised us. We got a surprise visit from one of our good friends who slept over and utilized our underused pull-out couch earlier this morning. And trying not to wake them while watching the first game of the World Cup of the day, Morocco versus Portugal, I tried to start making breakfast while I was in the dark. And after about 30 minutes of just cooking with no lights on, I turned on some lights to reveal my creation and enjoyed breakfast with my wife and G, who is visiting the condo for the first time in over a year. We then caught the rest of this exciting match, where Morocco came out with the upset win, becoming the first ever team from Africa to make it to the World Cup semi-finals. Then it was off to game two of the day, watching this World Cup quarterfinals match between European rivals, England and France. Oh, that's a penalty shot! Woo! Can England tie it up? Oh, yeah. He does what he normally does. Ah, boom. Woo! Yeah, woo. Where once again, there is late game drama. Mate. Well, the question you must have went on between the ears of Teo and Andy. Yup! <laughs> He's never left. Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh, he missed! He missed! Oh! Unreal! With France eventually winning the game and advancing to the semi-finals 2-1. to one. Afterwards, we made our way here to Saga to visit the family and reunite with the brother-in-law's puppy, Sesame. Before heading to my buddy Ronnie's place to celebrate his birthday. And on that note, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. First off, we have a birthday shout out to a friend that I made through her nursing friends going clubbing with them back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Vanessa. Happy birthday, Vanessa. Next up, we got a birthday shout out to a former coworker of mine who I can't wait to visit in Ottawa next time I'm up there. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Alyssa. Happy birthday, Alyssa. And last but not least, a birthday greeting to one of my beach volleyball friends who you guys remember from a previous Laugh From Last Week episode that I met back when I visited Van City. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Chris. Happy birthday, Chris. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Anyways guys, it's time to make our way to Ronnie's so that we can help him celebrate his birthday this evening. Happy birthday, dear Ronnie. Happy birthday to you. Blow it out. Blow it out. So after a fun time at Ronnie's last night, where we were able to see Manny Pacquiao return in an exhibition boxing match. Today, while there was a nice little snowfall in Saga, I took the day to rest up before going in for a one random night shift tonight. And before I go to work, I have a quick birthday greeting to one of my FSAT friends back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Pauline. Happy birthday, Pauline. 
And we've also got a birthday greeting to a fellow Habs fan out there, a former high school friend of mine, Aaron. Happy birthday, Chandler. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But yeah, guys, off to work, and I'll just catch you guys again tomorrow. So this morning, after getting off my night shift and driving back here to Saga, then having a post-night shift nap of less than three hours, I saw on Facebook through my morning Mary that my morning Ed had a reading of a book that he recently published called Nero Needs a Friend. A childhood book that I recently have put on my Christmas wish list. So once again, I just want to congratulate my morning Ed for publishing his first ever childhood book. Anyways, on to more celebrations, we got a couple of birthday greetings for you guys this evening. With the first birthday shout out, going out to a friend that I made while I was working at BVG. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Danny. Happy birthday, Danny. We also got a birthday shout out to one of my high school friends back at HT. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Tamboro. Happy birthday, Anthony. Next up, a birthday greeting to a friend that I bought BTS headphones for and who has made a cameo in a Live From Last Week episode in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jasmine. Happy birthday, Jasmine. And last but not least, a birthday greeting to a university friend who I traveled to Europe with and who I celebrated his birthday with earlier this weekend. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Ronnie. Happy birthday, Ronnie. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Anyways, on to this evening, where the wife and I continue to work on our wedding thank you cards that we're planning to mail out later on this holiday season. We decided to pop some bottles to honor our late celebration of our wedding anniversary. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Cheersing to this great occasion with the in-laws. Cheers. Cheers! I also got my Tito to pop some bottles too. Hey! hey. <laughs> Woo! And proceeded on to write more thank you wedding cards. The wife and I then decided to break out the top layer of our wedding cake in a tradition to celebrate our first year wedding anniversary. Yup, still got it. <laughs> and while having videos of our wedding cake cutting ceremony in the background, the wife and I cut that exact same wedding cake in the present time and tried tasting that wedding cake reenacting the same ceremony that we had on our wedding day. Happy one year! Is it chocolate? Yeah, this is really good. Finally spun cakes! But yeah guys, that pretty much wraps up this week's event-filled episode of Live From Last Week. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.